You're watching a podcast developed and produced by the Association of Asian Pacific Community Health Organizations, APCHO. To learn about APCHO, its members, or the principles and values that have guided this organization's work for more than 25 years, please visit www.apcho.org. So first of all, I think it's important to put voter registration in a context above civic engagement. And we have um, always been involved in helping our patients understand the importance of signing petitions, sending in postcards to like save health care in Washington, as an example. Um, and then voter registration, I think because we serve such a marginalized community that's often underrepresented um, as an APCHO clinic um, serving large numbers of refugees and immigrants, it's really important to help them understand what are their civic responsibilities and opportunities um, to get involved and that when they're eligible to vote it's important to get them registered so that they can take action and really feel like they have a say in what goes on in their lives in relation to public policy. Again I think the most important thing is to recognize that sometimes voting is not just more often for candidates, it's more often for issues. Um, and like there have been opportunities in Washington State where we were facing um, additional budget cuts that were driven by a variety of types of referendums that were going to be voter approved that could result in more difficulty in sustaining our budget and or actually sustaining cuts. And as an organization, we were able to take um, positions on these policy issues and um, really get the word out about the importance of what ICHS, where ICHS stood on these particular um, legislative actions so that our patients um, as members of the community could um, consider our perspective, think about it on their own, and hopefully um, you know, take action that supported ICHS in the, in the long run. So we've always had voter registration available through our um, WIC, Women, Infant, Children program. Um, it's actually a requirement of the um, federal program. And we've always then also had, by extension, um, voter registration applications available in our clinics, like in the waiting rooms. Um, and then more recently in the past, we had some really intentional campaigns to try to raise awareness of voter registration and we partnered with a local organization called APACE which is Asian Pacific Islander for Civic Engagement and they created a storyboard that was um, placed in our waiting rooms and it really kind of walked people through the importance of getting registered to vote and how to do it um, and that was a great um, partnership with that organization. So again, for this year, we're kind of extending our voter registration um, with through partnerships. We're going to try to grow that um, partnership with APACE, but also with other like-minded organizations. Um, we also have been involved in a project to collect digital stories um, so that we can help people in the community who are immigrants um, with limited English proficiency um, feel comfortable telling their story, feel confident that their perspective can um, get out and change the community for the better and we've been able to do that um, locally in Seattle and we continue to um, plan to expand that digital story project so that we can address things that are relevant like um, potential budget issues related to cuts and or support of the outreach and enrollment efforts that we know our communities need as well as address other types of health disparities like hepatitis B. This podcast was brought to you by APCHO. Please join the conversation on our Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash APCHO. And tune in for our next podcast at www.apcho.org.